Hello guys, just a short video on how to benefit um, from the so-called OBS function, this little um, this little button here, oh, sorry, this little button. Um, Alright, so we want to make a short trip from here to here and I already entered um, the, the, the airports and now I'm gonna go to procedure and to approach and as you can see this airport here this famous airport has no approach so we have to approach the airport without approach and that's um, the point um, where I'll use the OBS function um, as long as you're on a um, GPS lag so what's a lag um, just um, it's actually it looks like that so that's a lag from one waypoint to the next and um, then you can use the OBS button and what that will do, I just press this button, is it will turn the active waypoint into a GPS radial so I can by using this course button here um, turn this thing around and um, let me take this back again um, now it's just a normal um, GPS um, but um, before we approach the airport we actually have to I forgot one thing um, I'll go and uh, use this outer ring here and turn it to the right and then we'll get the secret pages of X-Plane's X-Plane 11's um, G1000 and the first page is the waypoint page so we'll get our um, airport information and we have runway 10 and 28 and um, obviously we, we will land this way and that will be runway 10 because that's approximately 100 degrees just at a zero the other way around would be 280 degrees just at a zero all right um so um, i'll re-engage obs and i'll actually select a course using this knob here from um 100 and 100 degrees because that's the approximate runway heading, all right. And um, I'll go back to this page, and now I can, I can adjust the course even, um, even finer. And uh, I'll use the runway depiction as a ruler almost. Um, keep in mind, it's GPS. It's it's not uh, it's not as precise um, as an, as a radio signal or localizer or anything like that. But um, that's all we have. All right, um, so um, we'll simply fly this way and intercept this GPS radial and simply by using the nav button and then we will already be aligned to the runway more or less. So, and um, then we have just to monitor um, the altitude and our distance and then we'll descend down to the runway. Um, one more thing, I will just go here and um, I already did that. Um, so let me just undo this. If it's not in here, you can. If you have no approach whatsoever, you can use your airport and select the minimum altitude of 100 feet or if there is some elevation, um, you would choose a higher value. And if you lock this in here, you can actually use VNAV as guidance. All right. So that's basically it. Um, your active GPS waypoint will be turned into a GPS radial and by selecting the course you can select whatever course to this waypoint alright and I just selected the course that is same as the runway heading and that is well that's Prince that's basically my approach that's how, I, how we're gonna do it alright so we'll just um, if you so desire you can watch me how I try to land this airport which is pretty difficult um, but let's just try this out but uh, I think you got the point um, all right let's get going see if I can land the plane it's only a short trip. All right. 
gear up and um, I'll retract the flaps make a left turn press the control wheel steering button if I have the once I have the right attitude maybe this one and um, engage the autopilot and it, it will trim down for me and just hold the roll and the pitch angle so I can set some things. Um, we'll pick a heading that is southwards um, so that we will intercept this radial um, we could just do some math um, let's add 90 degrees and we'll get a heading of 193 degrees so we'll just fly in a right angle downwards and um, let's go to flight level change this thing has an enormous po climb power So let's take a look at VNAV. Um, flight path angle 3 degrees, okay. So it will tell us when to start our descent. Won't be long. Let's make a left turn to start our... to intercept the, this line here. And I'll use the auto throttle to fly the maximum speed um, just to speed this up um, so we reached our altitude and um, should be uh, the VNAV info information will appear here soon it should I guess ah there it is so I'm gonna select a new MCP altitude and um, press the VNAV button and arm VPath and um, we'll soon start our descent we're still in heading select I'm gonna go to to nav mode so um, the autopilot will now simply intercept this GPS radial, radial. And when we have aligned, we will basically or be already have aligned to the runway. Okay, approximately. All right. Now the profile is coming down, and um, I'll disengage the auto throttle because it's, it's not should not use it for descent let's synchronize the heading to our course and now we will start to descend and our distance well it's if you can use the rule of thumbs um, as you can see 12 nautical nautical miles of distance um, we need three nautical miles to lose 1,000 feet, so 12 divided by three is four, so we started um, at 4,000 feet with, four, with an altitude of 4,000 feet. Um, we started to descend at a distance of 12 nautical miles, meaning at nine nautical miles we should be at 3,000, at six, at 2,000 and so on. Um, when we reach um, six nautical miles, I will rapidly speed down the plane because um, it's it's rather a difficult approach. But we'll see if I can land this. Oh, the YouTube chime is running up, so maybe I'll have to speed this up. Sorry about that, but YouTube YouTube only allows. Um, 
15 minutes by default. So we have to fly a bit like James Bond now. Let's see if that works out. Wow. Let's see, let's see. Time is running up. Okay. Thrust idle. I can bring down the gear at 210. And we will use everything we can to speed this plane down now. Way too fast. 210. Come on, come on. Hurry up. All right. We can use flaps at 190. And we will do so. And flaps at. Ah, oh yeah, okay. That's 150. And we will do so. And we will aim for about 85 knots. All right. So we managed to speed the plane down. Now it comes to the, the interesting part. The landing. Um, I think I'll disengage V-Path and go to pitch hold. So I can now manually change the pitch angle by using the nose up or nose down button and I can... Oh, we're a bit slow. It looks okay. Coming in quite nicely. Wondering why we are so slow. All right. What's the timer? Oh, we have some minutes. Few more minutes to go. Dear YouTube, two minutes. Oh oh. Let's disengage the autopilot and try to land this thing right in time. Trim down a bit. It's not an easy approach because the runway slope is downwards. You want to bring this down, otherwise you get big problems. Oh, I have to use brakes right away. And we managed to land the plane. Alright, short quick wheel replay. See how we land it. One minute to go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.